Hello. Happy quarantine. Happy quarantine. I'm Caitlin Powell. And I'm Kate Butch. And this is Queers Gone By, the show where we talk about nostalgic film, TV and snacks and try to work out if that's what made us queer. Now, listeners, you may <laughs> you may notice <laughs> that um, we sound slightly different. Some um, would say worse. <laughs> <laughs> we are currently in separate counties. Mm-hmm. Um, because I don't know if you've been watching the news. <laughs> Things have been happening, gang. They have. Can you believe it? Mm. Uh, yes, this is the first episode that we are recording um, under social distancing and lockdown quarantine gubbins. Yeah. It's very um, weird, I can't see you. I can't uh, yeah. stare in panic when you're quoting Tracy Beaker's lyrics at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. I'll, I'll try and rein myself in. <laughs> or maybe I'll just vocalise the panic. I'll just be like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's a sensible option. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Good. Um, yes, I'm currently in, in Derbyshire. I'm currently in Worcestershire. Lovely yeah. time. Um, it's, it's a nice day, Lovely. actually. Um, yeah, um, I'm very lucky that... Uh, I think we're both quarantined with pets, yes. aren't we? So that's a bonus. Mm. Um, in this awful time, um, and we do, yeah, we do. Um, we, our hearts go out to everybody who is affected. Yeah. So everybody yeah. in the world. Um, um, but yeah, just we're we're gonna keep, keep going as a little oasis nonsense, of nostalgia. nonsense content. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, to see you through this yeah. time, because it could be, it could be like to the end of the year. I saw in the news. God. I know. It's at least three We're weeks. Gonna... And it's not like after the three weeks everything's gonna be peachy. Exactly. Um, so you've got you've got this yeah. to look forward to, everybody. Get used to this quality, because <laughs> it's not gonna get better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day one day someone might invent something that's perfect. And yeah. Something necessity is the mother of invention. Sure. As I heard the drag queen Willem say <laughs> this week. <laughs> I mean, sure. Been to, have you been doing anything to keep yourself um, busy? I've been listening to a lot of the nine to five soundtrack. Dun 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 Yeah, quite. Um, but then I've also been listening to the Comfortable Way soundtrack. I don't know what that means, That's but good. you know, hope maybe. Well, yeah, I mean I, I started listening to the Comfortable Way soundtrack while I was mopping my kitchen floor oh. yesterday and um uh, I couldn't get through the first song. I did a bit of a cry. I won't lie to I, you. Yeah, I feel that. Um, yeah. But yeah, what else? I've been learning German, in case we owe everything to them. Oh, hello, V Gates. Bonjour, la class. <laughs> <laughs> what could you say in German? Um, willkommen. There we go. Nice. What's German for bog off, Elaine? I don't know. Uh, get, Boggen auf. Get, get, Du. Elaine and Gates to Elaine. My mother is walking around and she's she's unaware that I'm currently recording a podcast. Is? This is the first episode that I've recorded where my mother is in the same building as me. <laughs> oh bless. Oh, yeah. Bog off, mother. <laughs> oh, I've, I've she's I've gone. Um, in the kitchen and told them to leave me alone. <laughs> Feels very um puberty. My mother did want to. My mother wanted to come and be like. Uh, come on the podcast and say all the things that she thought made me queer Aww. that I used to watch. That's really sweet. She's not. She's not. Being, she's not. She's not allowed. Okay. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> You're not letting that secret out. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of crafts. Oh yeah, of course. What are you what are you crafting? Um, I've made some. Uh, I'm making a, a sparkly dress, a sparkly gown, beautiful gowns. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm thinking uh, I might sew some face masks. Ooh. Not like a lush face mask, but like no, no. Uh, <laughs> like a something like something to help out. Yeah. I just watched a really good YouTube video of someone sewing them, but she was in America, and I don't know if they want them in Britain. Oh, fair. But we'll see. Yeah, I, I might mean, just I might just really help out. Listeners, uh, every so often, late at night, I'll just get a text from Kate like, "Is this nice?" And the picture of some fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and often the answer is, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> It's an aesthetic. <laughs> there was someone with like a sequin fabric and they'd made like a, a full length dress with a hood. Yeah. 
and they looked like a sparkly Inuit. <laughs> yes, they did. And I was, I the, the the question was not is this good? It's like is this fashion? Yeah. Because fashion isn't necessarily good, as we know. Yeah, I think it's fashion. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure the fabric's fashion, but the dress was fashion. How much is your fabric? How much is your fabric? <laughs> Um, in terms of um, nostalgic snacks, I think we're taking a bit of a break on that, aren't we? Because obviously we're not in the same room to enjoy them together. I mean, speak for yourself, I've got an easy peeler. <laughs> well, I've just had a pickled onion for me lunch. What the- Are you from the past? <laughs> I bloody love a pickled onion. I've never had a pickled onion. You've never had... I've got a poster of pickled onion. <laughs> Disgusting. Just in a jiffy bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna post me a pickle dirt today. <laughs> Dad. Oh my god, right. Right, today. Today. <laughs> today. Right. Um we we put we put the um we put the feelers out there, didn't we? See what people yeah, wanted. Overwhelming, as in there were two people. <laughs> Resoundingly, yeah. people wanted this. Yeah. Um should we do it like the dragon? Oh well god, I can't remember. I wondered how many times pure adorable John Hurt had to stand in front of a microphone whispering Merlin. <laughs> it's the John Hurt whispering hour. It's Merlin. Merlin. Um, from two thousand and eight. Yes. Did you watch this as a uh, kid? Uh, I used to think that I really liked it, uh-huh. and I'd I'd watch. Every time the new series came out, I'd watch it. I'd get about six episodes in and then just drop oh. off. Um, so I've seen the first half of every series of Merlin. Oh. Cannot tell you how any of them ends. No, I mean, I watch them religiously and I can't tell you how any of them end, but, you know. After I watched this first episode, I did watch the last episode. Oh. And it was quite sad. Doesn't someone die? Someone quite high profile dies. We won't spoil no. it because it has just come onto iPlayer. Oh, is it just? Oh, okay. um, I think... So everyone can watch it at home if they wish. Honestly, I recommend you do. I wanted to watch more after this. It's a gamble time. I would summarise... Yeah, we watched, so we watched the first episode. I would summarise this show as two twinks, Anthony Head and some powerful women. And honestly, <laughs> Anthony Head and some powerful women is my sexuality. I'm not even being funny. <laughs> These are a few of my favourite things. Two twinks, Anthony Head and some powerful women. Yeah. <laughs> it's a recipe for success, yeah. I think. Um, should, we, should we dive right yeah, into it? absolutely. So we begin with little Colin Morgan. Yeah, oh, that's his name. I knew it was a dumb name. <laughs> See, now, I, from my memory and from, I think, popular consensus, mm-hmm. um, the main thing about Colin Morgan is his sticky out ears. Mm. But from, from my perspective now, the main thing about Colin Morgan is his sensational cheekbones. Absolutely. And can I just say, comic timing? Yes, he's a, he's a he's a good yeah. egg. He's also in with good... what I think is the best episode of Doctor Who. Oh no, yeah. midnight! Yeah. But he's barely in it. Yeah, For the it's best. just David Tennant yeah. repeating things. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a good episode. It's not a bad episode. There's not enough Catherine Tate. That's oh, my yeah, issue yeah, with you it. Know, if there'd been more Catherine Tate, I'd be more on board. But. <laughs> You can't have everything, um, but he's 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 a good. He's, has he done much recently? Mm. He was in something at the national. I was going to say, isn't he doing theatre like most of the sort of young BBC boys do? Oh, potentially. Didn't um, Matt Smith do uh, loads of theatre stuff? Oh yes, he mm. did. He did indeed. Yeah. Um, and we begin with Colin Morgan. Um, he's doing his Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> he is in his little Beatles haircut. <laughs> he's got his big backpack and a rolled up sleeve. Yeah. mat. and he's wandering through the countryside. Mm. Um, to. Camelot. Yeah. Yes. John Hurt gets fun. I don't really know much about mm-hmm. I don't know much about Arthurian legend. Oh, really? Um it's kind of passed me by. I've seen Spam a lot. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Same thing basically. Yeah. They they sang all the time in that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happened to my That's part. such a good song. It's a good time. Mm. Um yeah, um, is it Albion? Is that what England is called? West Brom. That's yeah. the one. <laughs> so he's walking through West Bromwich, yeah. <laughs> um, doing his Duke of Edinburgh, yeah. um, and he gets to Camelot, narrating. the castle, and everything. Like John Hurt. John Hurt's what? John Hurt's narrating. Oh, he is. Being all like mysterious. Yes, I like John Hurt. Me too. He's dead now. 
What? John Hurt is dead. He died ages oh, ago. That's sad. <laughs> It's not, it's not a surprise. How did you not know I that? think I did, but I'd like store it away for safekeeping. Okay, I see. Yeah. Well, we can unpack those emotions now, if you know. It's like. all right. I don't want to expose <laughs> my John Hurt trauma. My John Hurt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the wand chooses the wizard, <laughs> Mr. Potter. Oh. Um, yes, John Hurt is narrating being like, in the dark days of something and the one sorcerer will rise above and do magic and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's then the they general have the iconic idea. How does it go? Um, dun, dun. Now that's, that's... That's Game of Thrones. It's very similar to Game of Thrones. It is. Da, 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 and I can't remember it. Da, 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 da. Is that Game of Thrones still? I, I honestly <laughs> couldn't tell you. <laughs> um, it's close enough. Yeah, it's iconic. As soon as it happened, I was like, yes! If you want to know the theme tune, just get on BBC iPlayer. Yeah. Or just Google it. Yeah. Work it out for yourself. We're not going to hold your hand through this. <laughs> Except we, we very much are. That's the, that's that's the point. The <laughs> um, so yeah, he arrives at... Um, I've written Camembert, but no, Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, yeah. really. Um, yes, he arrives in Camelot and um, Anthony Head is there being cam. Yeah, there's some real experimental camera work <laughs> throughout the show, but specifically here. And yeah, we see absolute Dill Anthony. Dan Anthony Head. Anthony Head, friend of the pod. Dutton, how how is your Anthony Head? So many complaints. <laughs> We've had to set up a complaints department. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> a hotline. Yeah. So he's playing Uther Pendragon. Uh, and he's got a real yes. squat crown. Yes. And I don't think the tabard suits him. I won't lie to you. No, I'm with you on that. Never mind. Never mind. I, the, the men aren't dressed well in this, but the powerful women. Oh. Smashing it. Yeah. Serving looks. And Anthony Head is is saying, right, we don't, we're not having any magic here. No. I better not be any, I better not see anyone do any magic. Mm-hmm. Because this is what's going to happen to you. And he gets a man out and um, executes him. Yeah. Quite quite brutal. They're going, they're going in heavy, aren't they? Yeah. In the first five minutes. Yeah. Um, and Merlin at no point goes, oh, I'd best go home then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even look perturbed. No. <laughs> no. But you t- tell you who does look perturbed, we get a glimpse of Morgana. Who is doing oh, yes. some acting? She's she's waving through a window. Yeah, and she's like, like oh. she does a big uh, flinch when the person gets executed. Yes, yeah. I mean, so did I, to be honest. I mean, yeah, but she like um, goes for it. It's a uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> um, but she she is smoking. Yeah, I won't lie to you. She's serving she's, it. She's really fit, and she's got an Irish accent, yeah. so we've got a lot of time for it. Yeah. Um, and then once the the crowd is dispersing, oh yes, who who appears in horrible old age makeup? This old sea dyke. <laughs> it's Gwen from Torchwood. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I didn't realise it was her until later when she transformed. That's. I mean, she was in a lot of makeup. She's in too much makeup. Quite horrifying. It did remind me of Michelle Pfeiffer in Stardust. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and she's like. How dare you kill my husband? No, son. son. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> and she's like, I curse all of you, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a son for a son. And then she disappears, and it is camp. It is, it's a camp exit. Yeah. It, which is my gender. <laughs> camp exit, lovely. Um, it's very, uh, all her, like, rags sort of go all floaty and, I don't know. Yes. She just soars into the like, air. It's amazing. If they remade it today, it would be a lot better. Yeah. It is very much 2008 CGI, but we'll get on to that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, what happened? Oh, um, Merlin goes to Gaius. The court physician. Speaking of if this was remade, I thought, mainly based on the hair, but also how camp Gaius is, that if this got remade, uh, he would be played by Grayson Perry. Is Grayson Perry an actor? No, but I don't care. He's got hair. <laughs> I think that would be great. Yeah, he's he's serving very Grayson vibes. Is Richard Wilson? 
Oh, is that his name? Um, famous for playing Victor Meldrew. In what? In One Foot in the Grave, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's, he's, he's a good miser. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's a muttery um. gay. <laughs> he also owns a really horrible rabbit mask, which I noticed. Does he? It's a bit like Ariana Grande on that cover of that album, what she did. Do you think he recreates um, that album in his spare time? I think so. Yeah. In classic muttery gay fashion. <laughs> yeah. Ariana's quite a muttery gay, isn't she? Uh, she's a queer beta. We do not. She care. doesn't enunciate. She doesn't, does she? I have no idea what she's saying in most of her songs. Apart from Thank You Next, <laughs> where I can admit, through repetition, I got the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bop, to be fair. It is, yes. And the popular song with Mika, that's her number one song, I think. Oh my god, yeah. I forgot. And they just do Wicked. Yeah. Why did that It's a great. Why? Yes. Um, I don't know. (laughs) Hmm. Someone had too much money and they were like, well. Because it happened long after Mika was at the height of his powers. I think it was Mika's trying to stage a comeback using a younger. Oh no. A younger artist. How did that work out, Mika? He's really fit. He's gay, right? I think he's queer. Oh, okay. Cool. He's not putting any labels on, but like anyone who can do that kind of falsetto in the song, Grace Kelly. Oh, yes. They've got to be at least by, haven't they? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, back to this. He falls yes. unprompted, which is very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> and Merlin does um, a That's So Raven. Yes. We have a close up on his eye. Mm hmm. Um, and he freezes time and slides a mattress under Gaius yes. to save him. Mm-hmm. And Gaius is like, hang about. Is that a bit of magic there, sunshine? And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Merlin, magic, <laughs> never. I would never. Um, yeah, it's very, and then, and then it's revealed that Merlin's mum told Gaius to look after him. Yes. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her. Is it Hedith or something? Something like that. A good, yeah, something like that. Hedwig. It's not, but let's call her Hedwig. <laughs> Hedwig. She's got an angry itch. <laughs> that's not the song. That's, that's not the name. That. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking of the seven year itch? Uh, I don't know. Hedwig and the seven year itch. That's a combo. Yes. I don't know. I've got my time to write that fan fiction. <laughs> I've no idea what's happening, but I'm glad to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to have some company. Yeah. As is Gaius, because he has no idea what day it is. And honestly, being a bit pissy and have no idea what day it is, that is, he's an icon for these troubled times. True. true. I mean, I have no idea what day it is. No. I, yeah, everything blurs into one. Mm. Which is fine. I, I am, my, my mother's trying to introduce some kind of um, sense of pattern mm-hmm. and regularity. So we're having our lunch at the same time every day and we're having our tea at the same time every day that's nice which is i can recommend that because it's something to look forward to yeah i find that even though there's not much to do the days are going very quickly and that panics me yes mm. yeah yes very quickly but also at the same time incredibly slowly yeah. i don't know how to it's is there a word for this kind of time shit <laughs> <laughs> fair that's you're fair. thinking of shit time <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, sorry. <laughs> right. Um right, um and then Morgana has a chat. She's a feisty bitch. She is, she's chatting to Dantony Head. It will not surprise you that I was into it as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh she's a bit bossy and wears a lot of black. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um and um she says Oh, I don't think you needed to kill that guy for doing magic. Oh, no, no reason. No no magic-based reason at all. Yeah, also her name's like Morgana, which is the most ooky spooky name I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's also um, the ward of Uther, because yes. her parents aren't around, they're dead. What's a ward? Um, like, oh, I don't, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how to... It, it's a, Like an adopted... It's a big room in a hospital. Oh fuck's sake! <laughs> um, is yeah, kind of like an adopted charge. Okay. Charge. <laughs> like Annie. I've never seen Annie. Oh, you haven't, have you? Fuck's sake! 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't really know. Um, I think it's, yeah, like a vulnerable child. Right. Um, and a sugar daddy, I would say. <laughs> sugar dad's in the head. <laughs> sugar... <laughs> sugar dad's in the head. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, she's in some beautiful gowns. She's swishing down the hallways. Mm-hmm. Um, um, looking like a raven lady. Yes. And I think we're introduced to the idea that uh, a Lady Helen is going to be coming to sing um, yes. for Daphne Head. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, that wasn't really clear. Is it but... some kind of celebration? Oh, yeah, because at the very beginning, after he's executed that guy, he's like, let the festivity... Fe- how do you say that? Festi- festivity. Fisting. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, let the celebrations begin. And everyone's like, oh, okay, better get to the celebrations. I'm like, who... Who just has festival equipment lying around in medieval <laughs> times? Everyone just drops what they're doing and is like, oh, better do the festivities. It's very quick after that he's shed a lot of blood. Yeah. I'm like, you, you just chopped a man's head off, hun. Yeah. Give it don't a minute. <laughs> have a nap or something, I don't know. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> have some cheese. Have a pie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we do meet Lady Sarah. Um, Helen. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> um, she is Gwen from Torchwood. She is. Um, and she's, she's in, in a, a tent. Yeah. She's travelling. It's big spook. There's lots of miscellaneous howls. Um, yes. And gasps. It's funny because actually the, the thing that's, that gets her in the end is not anything that howls. Yes. It's just like, Ooh, lots of herself howls. in old makeup. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> It's very confusing. It's quite. It's like, it's it's well done. Yeah. Seamless. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I just... oh, wait, was oh, that you well... quoting? That's me quoting Olympia Avalanche doing John. John M- McLean. McLean, yeah. I love John McLean so much. Seamless, flawless. Mm-hmm. Flawless. <laughs> Seamless. But um, Olympia's parody of it is phenomenal. Oh my god. Okay, we'll check. I that recommend out. it. Um. Anyway, um, old Gwen from Torchwood kills young Gwen from Torchwood. With voodoo, which is high camp. <laughs> yeah, she just stabs a doll. It's yeah. not even got her face on it. No. How does the doll know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so young Gwen, Lady Helen, mm-hmm. is dead. Yes. And old Gwen from Torchwood <laughs> takes her place. This could not be more confusing <laughs> this is going to get even more confusing when actual gwen gets introduced <laughs> yes oh my god yeah <laughs> christ okay so um, can we call her hag gwen hag gwen <laughs> yes <laughs> that's not difficult to say at all <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of g's to get your mouth around yes hag gwen um and then the next day merlin's having his breakfast he's looking quite miserable about the idea of porridge I bloody love a porridge. And also, you're from medieval times, you don't exactly know what, like, Cocoa Pops are. <laughs> cool, keep crisp. <laughs> Next time, it's mine. <laughs> What's your top cereal? Three, two, one, go. Frosties. They're more than good. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I... I, I think I would never buy Frosties because they're so bad for you. Like, I probably wouldn't yeah. eat cereal in general. I like a frosted shreddy. Oh, you know what? In fact, you know, I love a fruit-filled Wheaty. <laughs> Which is also we my gender. you do. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fruit-filled Wheaty? I guess they're like, like a little wheat parcel. <laughs> and I think they do them in like Tesco's or something. And they just got blueberries in them. Oh, lovely. They're great. Like a Nutri-Gra- Nutri-Grain. Kind of, but just like, you know but small? What? Yeah, just a little wheat parcel. Oh, like like you can get like the chocolatey ones? Yeah, probably the same, but blueberries. Lovely. Yeah. I like a golden nugget. Oh, I hate golden nuggets. Controversial. Or um, a, a sugar puff. Do you remember sugar puffs? <gasps> I'd forgotten about sugar puffs. Of course puffs. I like sugar puffs. <laughs> That's what they used to call me at school. You with your sugar puffs, me with my fruit-filled wheaties. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. 
Um, anyway, um, at breakfast time, Guy's just goes around knocking shit over to see if Merlin will catch it with his magic. <laughs> the campest little gasp when Merlin uses magic. He's like, oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and then they both look at each other and he's done the magic and then Merlin stops the magic and Gaius goes, you did the magic, didn't you? <laughs> and Merlin goes, nah. <laughs> Promise. It's brilliant. <laughs> and yeah. then Gaius sends him on a quest to go and deliver medicine to old people. Why does all Gaius' medicine look like custard? Maybe it is. Maybe that's old and timey. Honestly. if I, I had some look. custard yesterday. Some vegan custard? Yeah, well, yeah, well, um, it was it was the powder, which I think is vegan, oh, and then some oat milk. That's so good. I know oat milk um, is good now. And I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't want like say anything out of line or anything. But mm-hmm. I don't think I've got coronavirus yet, and I've had custard. Wait, what? And oh, the guys from Merlin is giving out custard <laughs> as medicine. Okay. Conspiracy theory: custard stops it. Sure. Our friend one. Molly works in um, the Sea Life Centre and they have a penguin called Custard. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Merlin goes into the, the town square. Yes. And sees the most beautiful Adonis of a man. Oh, I knew you'd like this one. <laughs> that 12-year-old me had ever done seen. <laughs> it's, of course, Bradley James playing... Arthur. Arthur. Oh. Every day when you're walking down. <laughs> I would say hey to him. Hey. Hey. What a wonderful kind of day. <laughs> Just like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct. The amount of sexual tension in this interaction. Oh. It's incredible. I don't because... know. It must be on purpose. It can't be an accident. I I think so. I have a theory that I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, yeah, because um, Arthur's throwing daggers at his servant, not being very nice to him. Yeah. And Merlin's like, hey. Hey. Enough, <laughs> please. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't less, of, less of that, please, lady. <laughs> Excuse me, lady. Oh. Um, and um, then Arthur's like, oh, don't you speak to me like that, Sonny Jim. And puts Merlin in in the stocks? Well, no, he puts him in prison to start with. And oh, Gaius, yes. Um, and then Gaius has to help him escape. Well, he has to pull some strings and get him out. And, like, Merlin's reaction is so bizarre. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's like, he didn't get you, like, a cookie. <laughs> he, like, <laughs> saved your life, basically. But, sure, whatever. <laughs> That was and his yeah, choice, so... Colin. <laughs> <laughs> the um the penalty is he has to be in the stocks and get shit thrown at him. Yes. Meanwhile, Anthony Head and young hag Gwen. In she's arrived. The Countess little very structured purple dress. Yes. Um they're they're getting a bit flirty. Oh wait, is this um, at dinner? No, I think she just arrives and she comes and kisses his hand or something, which is like... Oh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's a bit bit of all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm, I know. Yeah. Um, and um, he's in the stocks. And then not had Gwen. Lovely Gwen. Here, um, who is also pretty fit as well. Yeah. What's she done since? I don't know, she's done anything. Because Morgana's done something, hasn't she? I don't know. I was more of a Morgana girl, I won't lie. Is she in, like, a Marvel or something? Who, Gwen or Morgana? Morgana. She might be. Oh, she was in Jurassic World. Really? She was, like, the the childminder. Oh. And she she got eaten by the, by the, 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 the one in the pond. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay. Well, good to know she's still working. Yeah, and um, shall I have a look and see what what Gwen is doing? What's Gwen up to? Guinevere, <laughs> Gwen from Merlin, as opposed to Gwen from Torchwood. Yes. Um, she has done sweet fuck all. Oh no! She's been in a couple of things. Cool. But she's she's not really been in. Oh, she plays a. She's in Thunderbirds. Are go. Oh. 
Um, oh, she, she was Tintin in Thunderbirds, but her name was changed to be Japanese. She is not Japanese. No, she's not. No. Wow. Anyway. So um, she's doing a little flirt with uh, Colin. Yes. Well, Merlin. And she's like, oh, I, uh... <laughs> you're we a bit more of You're standing up to that, Arthur. Yes. Yeah. He's like, all those, those men that go out and save the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But she absolutely roasts him as well. She's like, yes. oh, shit. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and then the next note I had was that they have at it again, Merlin and Arthur. Oh, yeah, but before that, he he sent on another little mission with some medicine. Oh, and yes. And finds Helen Hagg's uh, voodoo doll and spell book. And then she comes in looking really like angry and i was like oh good for her she can do evil and incompetent (laughs) why would you leave like your door open with all your your witch gubbins i don't know about it's just not sensible it's so silly but yeah so he discovers that she's up to no good yes and then they have another little face off and can i can i sorry arthur and merlin have another little face off i wrote down the lines i wrote i I, I wrote down several lines as well (laughs) It's nice, even though we're not in the same county. We're yeah. still, right, we've got some synergy going on. Yes. What did you write down? You go ahead. Um, I could take you apart with one blow. Yes. And then he <laughs> says, I could take you apart with less than that. Oh. And then Arthur replies, are you sure? You might as well say, you might well say make me. Yeah. You know, like, it's so, like, aggressive sexy. Yeah. And there's also, um, there's something about you, Merlin. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's because he's gay. And I want them to kiss. Yeah. I want them to do a kiss. And then they um, they have a fight, don't they? With little... What are those things? Oh, what's the word? A mace? No, a mace is different. It's a spiky ball on a chain. Oh, is it spiky? Oh, it's just a ball on a... I don't know. Mm. It's something. And they're swinging their balls around. <laughs> Um, and then he keeps using sneaky little magic to get one over on Arthur. Yeah. Like he puts a block in his way, trips him over, gets his thing tangled. That kind of governs. Yeah, but eventually he loses to yes. Arthur. But then Arthur's kind of like, oh, don't worry about it. You're a worthy match. Yeah. And I want to fuck you. Mm-hmm. Basically. Basically. And uh, Gaius is in the corner just having none of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's and just rolling his eyes. Back at home with Gaius, Merlin's he's being like, I can't use my magic. Yeah. If I can't use magic, I might as well die. Yeah. And then they have this big, like, why am I like this? Am, am I, I wrong? Monster? What's wrong with me conversation? And I was like, this is cutting to the hearts of every little queer who watched this. Well, this is my thing. Is magic a code for being gay? This is my theory. I think it might be, yes. He's like, I'm a monster and I was born like this. Yeah. And then um, Guy says, Merlin, sit up and take your shirt off. Yeah. And, and then like, he starts right, being born this way and doing the choreography. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Colin takes his shirt off. And I wasn't disappointed. No. I would have liked Bradley story. to take his top off. <laughs> yeah. We'll take it. We'll, I, like, yeah. I mean, I'll take as much choplessness as I can get, to be honest. <laughs> But that's that's life, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then Merlin's de- in the dead of night. He's trying to sleep, mm-hmm. and whispery John Hurt will just not stop whispering. He will not. Merlin. <laughs> Merlin. Poor John Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he got paid an extreme amount of money for this. I think so. He got like top billing as well, didn't he? Yeah. At the end of the credits, it was like with John Hurt as the great dragon. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I mean, they probably shouldn't have done it in the first episode. They should have said just with John Hurt. Yeah, right. Mm. Because, like, we know now that he's a great dragon. Yeah, great big dragon. And, I mean, great dragon is a bit of an overstatement. He's an adequate dragon. Yeah, he's and his... a wobbly CGI dragon. Yeah, this is where we get onto the 2008 CGI. Mm. It's not good. No. But it's, like, it's the only bit of CGI really in it, apart from, like, the frozen water that spills and freezing Richard Wilson in midair. Yeah. 
they're not. not they're not using that much budget on special effects at the moment no i think, I they think should... for the time it was an all right dragon okay i don't fully remember it like that but <laughs> 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 and john hurt here is playing the older gay yes like the mentor gay being mm. like back in the time we magic could run free and no one was persecuted for magic um <laughs> Because he played Quentin Crisp, didn't he, John Hurt? He did, yes. Who's, who was a big old gay. Big old gay. Um, and I think John Hurt is I, Ollivander's gay. Mm-hmm. Is, that, was John Hurt himself gay? I don't think so. No. I couldn't find anything on Wikipedia. I get him and Gary Oldman confused. Is Gary Oldman gay? I don't think so. Hmm. But he could... I mean, I, everyone, everyone who's ever been in a film is gay, I've decided. <laughs> Well, I think everyone's bisexual, so, you know. True. If you think... work on that assumption, you're very rarely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Mm-hmm. And, listeners, if you can't take anything else away from this episode, have that. Yeah, you're probably bi. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, and then John Hurt's like, you've got a destiny. You've got to look after Arthur. And Colin's like, Alpha, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, you might as well go. He might as well be like, Alpha, oh, fuck, fuck off. <laughs> Jump into the ravine of this cave prison that the dragon's in. Yeah. Um, he, he literally says, There must be another Arthur because this one's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he calls him a Pratt, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the word Pratt. Oh, Pratt's a great word. Pratt. 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 Um, yeah. And then he's dicking about the castle again. Mm-hmm. And he walks into Morgana's room. Yeah. While she's getting changed. That was weird. And he thinks that she, that it, she, no, she thinks that he's Gwen. For some reason. And she's like, that Arthur's such a dish. Ugh. And Merlin's like, mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gwen. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, oh. And then. Oh, oh my God, no, we've missed out on the best bits. What? Which was when Helen and Uther, well, Hag Helen and Uther are having dinner. And Helen's clearly, like, both trying to flirt with him aggressively and trying to imply that she's the hag. Because she says, because Arthur's mum has died. And she says, that bond between mother and son is difficult to replace. (sighs) And Uther's just like, yep, that's a weird thing to say, apropos of nothing. Anyway, I'm going to eat my (laughs) strawberry. And he's he like, can't wait for the concert. The <laughs> That's so stupid. He's like, can't wait for the concert. And she's like, mm, gonna kill you at the concert, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She might as well be like, I'm a hag and I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, nom, 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 strawberry time. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't found my berries. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Oh, it's a thing. I'll, I'll share it. Okay. It's it's a YouTube thing. Okay. I still haven't found my berries. <laughs> Why is that an adorable Dracula? It, it's not that. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Stay tuned. Um, and then Hag Gwen, Hag, Hag yes. Helen, um, she kills a servant lady with bad hair. Yeah. She's got such bad hair. And I'm thinking maybe it's for the best. Yeah. Also, she kills her because the servant lady sees like basically if hag gwen looks in a mirror her reflection it's revealed yeah her reflection is like her real identity like I'm just ursula like, and little mermaid yes i'm just like stop going near mirrors you daft bitch <laughs> <laughs> why, are you, why are you just standing next to mirrors all the time <laughs> fair oh. enough honestly yeah. she's only yeah. got herself to blame so she kills this servant lady Yes. Um, and then we go to the concert. Yeah. And Morgana is not oh. fit. Oh, fuck. In the words of Arthur, God have mercy. Oh, my <laughs> word. Pagan witchy realness. It's incredible. She's got organza sleeves. Oh. Which, oh I'm loving it. I've yeah. got so much time for her. And then Gwen and Merlin have a weird kind of flirt. Yeah. And... Yeah, she's basically like, I fancy you. And he's like, oh, okay. And then she's like, no, not you. I don't <laughs> like you. Yeah, yeah, she's like, I don't like men that save the day like Arthur. I like 
common men. Um, just just run of the mill plain people, people like you. And he's like, oh, I'm not plain. And he's like, oh, I, I didn't mean that. I didn't say you. <laughs> and you did. Uh, you did. Um, yeah. To be fair, actually, I, at the time, when I thought it was either or, I was more of a of an Arthur fan than a Merlin. But now I've realised I can have what I want. Yeah, you can have both. I'm going to have both. Yeah. Because he does have nice cheekbones, as aforementioned. Yeah, he does. He does. And he, se- he seems like he's got lovely manners. Yeah. He seems very polite. You'd bring him home to your mum? Oh, you would. You would. I'll ask, I'll ask my mum in a second. <laughs> See what's happening. Um, and then Gwen from Torchwood. Hag Gwen. Yes. Mystery Gwen. Um, oh, she does a singing and she sings Dead Nice. Yeah. Sleepy songs. And she sends everyone to sleep except for Merlin. Who's holding his ears like he's on the fucking northern line. (laughs) (laughs) Throwback to when we lived in London. (laughs) Uh, Throwback to getting the tube. Uh, Do you remember? Yeah. The northern. Actually, to be fair, I can't stand people who do that. It's so annoying, isn't it? If you have to cover your ears when you're on a tube, you're not strong enough for this world. Get a rattle. Move on. <laughs> and then um like cobwebs form over everybody sleeping. Yeah. And then Merlin does a proper Dobby the house elf. <laughs> like he is. He's got big fucking ears. <laughs> yes. And nice manners. And he drops a chandelier on Gwen off Torchwood. Yeah. Um and then everyone wakes up. Yep, yeah, and, and she transforms back into Hag Gwen. Yes. Um and and as she does with her last remaining strength, she throws a knife at Arthur, and Merlin leaps and saves him. Yes, and it's adorable. And yes. then Uther's like, "Now, Arthur, you have your own Dobby the house elf." <laughs> yeah, Merlin's yeah. gonna be your manservant, and they're both like, "Oh, nuts!" Yeah, they also had like they woke up and had relatively few questions. I would say. Yes. Also, what happened to Gwen off Torchwood? Did she die? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, I think so. I think it was with her dying breath and all that. Oh, I see. Like, Bellatrix is strange. Yeah. But also, like, why why would they not be like, hey, Merlin, how come you didn't get sleepy? That's, yeah, why are you not covered in cobwebs? Yeah. Why are we covered in cobwebs? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's just like, well, another day. (laughs) I'm going to eat my strawberries. (laughs) And that is a move, to be honest. But, yeah. So <laughs> we've got it all nicely move. set up for this odd couple yeah. kind of situation. It's a really good first episode. They cram a lot in. But yeah, it but does feel really out. slow. Oh, did you not like it? I was not transfixed. I was checking yeah. my phone. I was looking where they are now. Yeah, that's fair. It didn't grip me. Yeah. But I, I did remember... Nice that when I, with my first iTunes gift card that I got from maybe like Christmas when I was about 12, uh-huh. I did buy an episode, of this episode of Merlin and did put you? it on my iPod Nano. Wow, all of the words in that sentence are such a throwback. <laughs> you know, the little square boy. Mm. Yeah, it was blue. It's nice. I had a green one. Oh, lovely. Really ugly green. Yeah, so I bought this episode and I also bought the first episode of Pushing Daisies. Ah. Oh. I don't think I've watched Pushing Daisies. That's a shame. It's very good. Um, sure. It's sure. so that this kind of goes hand in hand with that for me. Is like first episodes that oh, I cute. would watch the whole time, and the Secret Show, which I mentioned all the time. And no one ever wants us to do the Secret Show, but oh yeah, I remember one day. You mentioning that. <laughs> Sorry, um, <we'll> <laughs> back day. before society collapsed. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this this murder right. business is it camp? Was, was it camp? It's high camp. Yes. Well, not high camp. It's it's Medium aspirational camp. camp. Simmering. Simmering, Simmering camp. camp. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Gwen from Torchwood is like she's she's hamming it up for everybody. She's having a lovely time. Yeah. She's like I'm only in the one episode. And I'm gonna make me fucking mark. You're gonna know. You're yeah. gonna know my name. Gwen from Torchwood. <laughs> yeah, we'd actually. It's Eve Miles, but like, <laughs> who gives a shit about that? 
Oh, well, of course, you know her name. <laughs> I have. We have been watching a bit, a bit more Torchwood. Um, I have been. It's a good time. Oh. That's my player as well. Yeah. It's very good. Do it. Yeah, I might watch some. Yeah. Um, did it make us queer? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'd forgotten how much I... it did. Like, I had it in the same boat as, like, you know the BBC oh, Robin Hood yes. from about 2006? Richard Armitage. I love that. Well, that's the only reason you'd watch it. Oh. For Richard. Wait, who plays Maid Marian, actually? I don't that remember. Be quite cute. Yeah, I, I think Rich. If, if you're in a show with Richard Armitage, you've just got to... You're not going to be inspiring. Yeah, you're playing second much. fiddle. Yes. Um, and I think I'd lump them in both the same, but actually this... Full yeah. of um, I remember a lot, as well a lot of the knights of the round table eventually becoming really fit like Lancelot and yeah. Galahad and... Is Owen Macken mm-hmm. is he one of them, the actors uh, he, yeah, in my school we were all big fans of Owen yeah Ooh. Um, so yeah there's a lot of, lot of fit men, a lot of fit ladies and a shit CGI a dragon yeah I mean <laughs> <laughs> Shit CGI uh, dragon. Under the stage. Shit CGI dragon. Marry. <laughs> That's all he does, and then he fucks off. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. We can't even cheer No, because I've had my pickled onion. <laughs> have you finished yeah. your easy peeler? Um, I have yeah. finished my easy peeler. Sorry if there was I couldn't hear on the you. recording. I think the quality is going to be that low. We're not going to do all that. Um, yeah. But it's yeah, we've done our first um, our first one. Us. Yeah. Of of hope so. Hope so. Um yeah. Um we're gonna do do our best to keep it going. I mean we've got fuck all else to do, have we? So there's that. Yeah. Um I hope this this was a, a nice little oasis in people's lives. It certainly was for me. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this yeah, all week. Me, me too. Um <laughs> Yeah, so um Stay tuned because we are going to do some more. Keep letting yes. us know what you want to hear. I mean, we've made a note of everything you said. Um, I guess we'll prioritise ones that lots yeah, of people Yeah, and ones that you can like readily access as well. Oh, yeah, because some of them I was like, how the hell are we going to watch that? Yeah, this is but, on iPlayer yeah. um, to that. let you all know. Um, do yeah. you give us a follow at Queers Gone By. Um, follow me at okay. Kate Butch One. I'm doing quite a lot of content. <laughs> to see me through just for my own amusement yeah. really and if i can bring some other people along to be amused then why not yeah um uh follow me at caitlin pwll on twitter and at caitlin powell on i made a face Instagram. while you were doing that you can't see it. I can't... for old times sake. Yeah, okay. maybe you could do that during the quarantine that, um... that'd be that'd kill an afternoon dreamline yeah <laughs> fucking hell um <laughs> I'm thinking of doing YouTube videos, but I feel like everyone is, so I don't really want to go um, on the bandwagon. Don't step on my bloody turf. No, um, <laughs> what would your YouTube videos be about? Um, I really want to give my opinion on every single Pokemon <laughs> that's ever been <laughs> made. There's 860 something, I like I the think. sound of that. I don't know anything about Pokemon, except for Mr. Mime. Oh, they're camp. Who I think is the campus. I've got no um, time. In the meantime, we'll see you next week. Um, do... Um, tell people about us if you if you know someone who might need a bit of nostalgia, a bit of a laugh. Um, do recommend yeah. us to people. Um, leave us a review, subscribe, all that kind of malarkey. Um, and we will see you. Well, we won't. We'll we'll speak at you. <laughs> we won't even see each other. That's really weird. No. Oh God. I was wondering if we should Skype at the same time, but I think it would just be too. It confusing. might be, but we can give it a go. We'll try. Yeah. Oh, yes. Lovely. Because I am in full drag, as I am every episode. (laughs) Of course you are. (laughs) I expect nothing less. (laughs) Uh, So, yes, uh, we will see you next week, all going to plan. Um, Have a lovely week. Um, Stay safe. Wash your hands. Um, Follow all the advice. Don't go outside if you don't need to. Um, And, yeah, yeah, we're we're, we're, we're very grateful for you for listening. Yeah, thank Um, you very much. We shall see you a bit later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Merlin.